Dear FX, coming at you on the Monday, mid-June, 15th of June. Risk off today, as you can see, here's the ES chart. No one really knows why we closed up at 30.24 anyway. Um, this chart is slightly delayed. We're at 29.82 right now. Um, but we opened back down 29.70 fears of a second wave of COVID, fears uh, that China is going to kick the U.S. when they're down, fears about Trump's health, a lot of fear out there. We saw that uh, speech at West Point from old Trumpy, didn't look super robust out there, I must say, um, although a glass of water can be heavier uh, than it looks, I suppose. Um, anyway, whether you like him or not, if he's out the door, stocks go lower. Taxes go up. Uh, so this is also more fears that the uh, U.S. stock market has to digest. So we opened at 69, spooked a few uh, shorts back up at 93. Now we're a little, we're just, we're just teasing this here. This is an important, on my prep for the week, this was like the important moment, 2970. Um, let's just look at it this way. Price below 2970, we're core short. You can use 3006, which is a 200 day as your stop. Um, you know, you're building some sort of core short position again. Not really a tactical short, it's core short. So we're back below the 200 day. So now we're looking for more of an extended move towards the southern border. No more pain. Some pop song says that. Anyway, um, Euro. Gap down lower, but holding in t holding in just fine here don't know really what to do with this um, we talked about 11240 as the point where the recent longs would puke um, I think they've puked so positioning is probably slightly more balanced you see this trend line's been broken so we're kind of moving down again don't like selling low ones in euro particularly um, we have a lot of news this week summits uh, in Europe about packages and, and rescues and so notoriously hard to trade Euro when European leaders get together to talk because they talk so much and they do so little um, it's usually a mess so for now we're just watching Euro maybe we're waiting for a slightly better setup um, that could be a little bit more tradable Cable, we got MPC in the back end of this week. Even more in the middle of the range than Euro. Very little to do here. No idea what's going on with Cable. We need to wait for a better setup. Dollar Swiss, pretty much the same. We cut our shorts, uh, our medium term shorts, up from 98. Uh, really just not doing all that much fallen dollar swiss blows so just ignore it dollar yen 106.50 but then really 106 is is the bingo number right bears bears are full control below 106 right now uh it's not clear uh which way we're going to go obviously the bias is perhaps left because it's risk off euro yen the 10 points you risked up at 124.40 are still in play. Now you have 400 points. We talked about getting 1,000 points. So that's 114. I wonder if that's going to work. We, of course, do not own that trade anymore, but on paper, that's a good one. Should be some support here at 120, the figure. But you're again also uh, at risk for lower in this sort of risk off world. Sterling in, as you can imagine, exactly the same chart. Um, dollars are higher, right? I mean, we traded up to 30 the other day. This is a pivot. This is interesting, but it looks a little bit like a trap break because of these um, 
these lows here. So I don't think this is a pure break trade or anything. It's actually probably likely to just put a double top up there. So if you're a seller, interesting risk reward. If you want to sell it up here, we are not sellers of dollar rand. Um, if you're a buyer, I think just wait, wait and see. And if you do print a double top and then you come off, it'll be a nice launch point um, for some new fresh longs. Euro, Swiss, I don't understand. We tried to get short a little bit of this on Friday. Didn't really want to go down all that well. There's somebody at 108.90, uh, where there was on Friday. You could see it on the on the liquidity on our on the ladders. Um, be careful. I you know, whenever you see a big bid in Euro Swiss, you immediately think SNB. But it makes no sense that they would be there. Um, could be, just be someone taking back shorts. Some smart ass who sold up at 109. Um, Euro Swiss is not playing correctly, so maybe just avoid it. Aussie sell. Uh, through 68 looks interesting um, core short looks interesting it is pretty hectic right we did a 120 point bounce on Friday um, we have gap down lower it's just matching the S&P chart so I mean maybe you're not so comfortable trading S&Ps maybe you don't have access to the CME Aussie um, and Aussie yen also is just a it's a proxy for, for the S&P. Pretty good, pretty good proxy these days. Dollar CAD, same deal. Um, didn't quite get to this 136.66, the old triple six. Um, not too much to do there. Gold is of interest this week. I do think um, this thing's going to go. What the trigger is going to be, I don't know. Maybe it's massive risk off. Uh, we're waiting. 1776. U.S. Independence. Yippee ki -yay. Motherfucker. Uh, and Bitcoin. Just waiting. Waiting for 10.5 to break. You want to accumulate this stuff on low ones. If you're just starting to accumulate, 9100 is not your number. Uh, you know, wait for 8,100 or 8,400 on some idiotic uh, low liquidity move, um, and dip your dip your toe in. Uh, as as you can see from the first seven minutes of this call, if you didn't trade the open, um, and if you didn't stay core short or stay core short from Friday, there's not a lot to do tactically. The charts are a little stretched. There's some gaps. Things are right in the middle. Um, and as exciting as it is to get this vol, uh, we are cautioning ourselves uh, to be patient and wait for the perfect setups. Uh, and that's half the battle in trading is don't just trade sentiment, don't just trade your view, trade your sentiment and your view combined with a perfect setup. Nothing perfect out there right now. The best level is 70 in ES. Um, this is delayed. We're trading up at uh, 80 right now. So I'm going to leave you guys, see what happens at the open. Maybe they take an attack on this thing, uh, and we will trade it from there. Um, good luck, people. Be patient. See you tomorrow. Ciao.